And you just heard it from her today. Central Iowa is going to see mm -hmm. temperatures reaching the triple digits. Ooh, and this is real feel, not a heat index. <laughs> yeah, right. This is this, this is everything. This, this is the real thermometer. There. It is. And our Taylor Musgrove is live in Des Moines this morning with where people can go to beat the heat today. Hi, Taylor. Good morning, Jody. Well, despite it being one of the hottest days of the year, Polk County has actually decided not to open its cooling centers, reasoning that this heat wave will only last for a day. Now, when deciding whether or not to open cooling centers, Polk County Health Department factors in the impact the warm temperatures and humidity will have on a person's body. Now, at the highest, it's supposed to reach around 100 degrees today, like Jerry Ann said. However, there'll be overnight cooling with the lowest temperatures being around 72 degrees tonight. So Polk County says spending just two hours in air conditioning could prevent heat-related illnesses. But there are still other options for people to escape the heat during the daytime. Urbandale Library will operate as the cooling center today. Central Iowa Shelter Services is accepting all guests this week. And the nonprofit Joppa will be giving out water, food, sunscreen, and other medical supplies. Polk County Health Department also encourages people to take advantage of public facilities. So uh, friends, family are not an option. Go to a place maybe like a library, an open business where you can spend time, the grocery store, a mall. Those are all options for you to go to to get some relief from the heat. Now, Des Moines Waterworks also says with the dry heat and record breaking heat today, they're expecting the demand to go up for water. So they're really encouraging people to reduce lawn watering today. And if that that um, use of water exceeds 90% of current treatment capacity, they say they may need to move to other stages of the water shorter plan. Yeah, that's why we need that rainfall to come soon and a lot of it. Thanks so much, Taylor.